What's up everyone, this is Justin from Make Supply, and in this video we will be putting together the Field Notes case. If you'd like to purchase this template, it is available for instant download at the Make Supply Etsy store, which is linked below this video. If you've already purchased, uh, thank you very much, I really appreciate your support. If you don't wish to purchase the template, we invite you to just uh, join along with the build process. Hope you enjoy. All right, let's take inventory of what we'll be using today. Start with the template for the field notes case. So your template will print out on two sheets. One will have the main body piece, and the other will have your pocket panel and your pocket panel card slot. Print these on 110 pound card stock, right at home on my laser printer. This time I used a nice gray color. I'll explain, you know, I'll go through the design of these a little bit more in the next step. Three to four ounce Herman Oak natural vegetable tan leather, undyed again. Number two exacto knife, CS Osborne scratch off. Start to see a theme here, I kind of use the same tools in every one. Diamond chisels, craft tool, three millimeter with rubber mallet. Royal Wood, Waxed Irish Linen 7 Ply, Tandy Stitching Needles, Black of Beeswax, Wing Divider, uh, Cork Back, Metal Ruler, Elmer's Probon Pro Glue, <clears throat> Wood Slicker, Saddle Soap for our burnishing agent, Glass of Water for the edges, Normally I use, I've been using this Good Japan number one edge beveler. I'm going to try out this larger edge beveler. I don't even know where this came from, but um, it's a much larger bevel than this one. So we'll do a live experiment and see how it comes out. So I'll be using this one today. Uh, also we'll be bringing in binder clips. Use these for when your uh, pieces are glued and holding them together, keep the edges down. And I'll also show off the Coco Bolo bit. Um, I'm not going to use this for the whole thing, but I'll show you how this can speed up your time getting one of these. Uh, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, so alright, let's get into cutting out our template. Okay, so let's look at our templates here. Um, two pieces. One will be the main body panel, and the second page is your pocket panels and your pocket panel card slot. So as you'll notice on the main body panel, you have a rectangle shape with square edges and also some curved corners on the inside of each, of each edge. So the curved corners are actually the corners for the field notes case. I'll show you here. This is a finished one using the same template. Okay. So you have two options when you cut this out. One, you can cut it out with the curved corners right here and just build this all together with matching up these curved corners as well. Or you can do it the way we're going to do in the video, which allows for a little bit more, I think a, a little bit more precise fit, especially if you're not good at cutting your corners yet, where we're going to cut this out as a, as a rectangle and we're going to then cut out these other pieces so when we put the panels on we're going to situate them in the corner and then we're going to once it's glued down we're going to cut that corner off using this edge as a guide as opposed to having two already cut corners and trying to you know make sure they're perfectly fit so that's the way we are going to do it in this tutorial so i will start by cutting these pieces out
No, that's it. Alright, so, so as I said, cut out a, I cut out the main body panel as a rectangle. So let's cut out the other pieces. This will be used for both sides, so we only need one. this curve. Okay, so I cut out three pieces we'll be using. And just that's where you can see how this will fit into that corner there. And then when we glue this down on the leather, we'll cut that corner off. And also, you probably notice these little crosshairs on the pocket panel. These are the alignment for the card, the card slot. So when we are going to, when we put this on, when we trace this panel onto the leather, we are going to put, with our scratch off, a little mark right where those two lines intersect. A little hole, a little hole, and a little hole. And then that'll give us an alignment point for putting this card holder on this panel. Okay? So next step will be to trace these onto the leather. Okay, let's trace them on. We'll start with the small card slot. I have a leftover piece from the other tutorial, so I'm just gonna utilize that. I don't wanna waste any leather, because it's expensive.
Okay, card slot, traced. Both of the panels. Okay, large panel, two pocket panels. So on the, they're both, you know, you can put them on any side. So on one of these, you have to put your little mark in the middle of the crosshair, just to note where the card slot goes on the pocket panel. So I'll do that now for this one. Pocket panel number one and pocket panel number two. And I wish I looked at this leather before I put it on here. It's got some gross stuff on it. Oh well. So now all three, all four of our pieces in this card, field notes case are cut out, or not cut out, are about to be cut out. Sorry, it's really hot down here, <laughs> going crazy. Um, I'm going to cut this out off camera. It's the same process as cutting out the template. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out, and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, so I finished cutting out all the pieces, and now we will finish the edges of the parts that will not be accessible once this thing is put together, which include all the edges on the card slot and the inside edges of the two panels. So let's start with the card slot. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit with the sandpaper. My cuts weren't so good.
Okay, so now I'll show you where I love to use the Dremel burnisher. And it's for parts like this. Something when you're, when you're burnishing a single piece and you know it's when you're using the wood slicker you get to put a, you know you're putting pressure on it, this thing kind of bends because there's not a lot of structural support with it and having the Dremel burnisher you just put a very light amount on here a lot, light amount of pressure and it, you know it slicks this up real nice so I'm going to go around this with the Dremel and if you don't have this it's the same exact process with the wood slicker so let me get that here's our water and our sauce so much quicker. Okay, inside edge. Okay, hit this with a little bit of beeswax. Okay, that's our burnished card slot. Now I'm just going to burnish the inside edges of the straight part of the panel.
Man, I love that thing. Alright, now we are ready to do some assembly. So you will... Alright, let me figure out what we have here. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video for a second. We're going to come back and we're going to do our, ga um, do our gauge around here. And then glue it to the panel. Next step, let's put our groove around the card slot. to the panel, making sure to line it up with the marks that we have on the panel. some pressure there. If you have the larger binder clips you can get it on the back there but if not just do it on the front. Next up, which will be marking our holes.
Okay, marked our holes there. So I'm going to wait for a minute for this to dry, and then I'm going to punch through these holes with the diamond chisel, and then come back. Okay. Okay, so I finished punching the holes all the way around the card, uh, the card slot on the panel. So now I'm going to saddle stitch this. Um, if you need help with saddle stitching, um, just find the other, uh, I just did a recent video on saddle stitching, so find that video doing the exact same method. Except this time I'm going to, I like to wrap the end of the thread, let's see if I can get closer here, right here, wrapping the end of the thread around the card slot. So when I start my saddle stitch, I'm going to actually start in that last hole go backwards one which is going to wrap around and then start go all the way around get back to the end same thing go to the last hole go around loop it and come back and back stitch twice so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera again I'm using royal wood waxed Irish linen thread 7 ply and just some generic tandy stitching needles so I'm going to stitch this up and we're going to come back Okay, so I just finished stitching up the card holder onto the panel. And now we are going to glue this panel to the body portion. Alright. I already added a little bit of glue on here. crazy helicopters apparently. Okay, now put it on. So you want to line up the top and bottom edge and the back. binder clips here and clip this thing down. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a couple minutes, come back. So that's been sitting for a couple minutes. Now we will take off binder clips. And inspect. Okay, so now you can see we have the two corners left here and now we're gonna cut these corners off. So gently you know, rest your blade against the edge of the corner and keep your blade straight and take off this corner and the other one. Double check it, make sure it looks okay, and now we're going to clean it up with the sandpaper.
mine's not super straight on the back here, so I'm going to try to do a little surgery. a groove on both sides. sides I'm gonna go through and punch the holes I'm just gonna take a quick break all right so to get my starting point on the back I'm gonna use the inside and I'm gonna take my mark just make a little mark there that even starting point on both sides. Take my scratch all, actually my beads wax here, and then I'm gonna poke through and then it'll come out as a little hole on the back. A starting point on both sides. Went a little too far on that one. Okay, so now let's mark our hole, starting from the hole we just made.
now I've marked my holes to be punched and I will go through and do that part now off camera all right back from marking holes you can see here here's the back the inside so now as with this one I also like to repeat the tie off on over the edge of um, the piece. So in order to do that, we have to make an extra hole there. So I usually wait till this point to do it. And being that it is a little bit longer than this distance from my uh, diamond chisel, I'll often just take the scratch off and physically like, you know, make, I want it to be right over that lip right there. So I'll just kind of line up my scratch all right here and make sure it's straight and then push a little hole. And it looks good on that end, so I'll just make it a little bit further in so there's enough room for the needles to go through. And that will be our tie off point right there. Same on the side. A little bit longer than this. So right up against the lip, push through. Okay, nice and straight. Alright, so now we have all of our holes and our little tie-off holes at the end there ready to be stitched. So I'm gonna go do that right now. I'll come back with this whole panel stitched up. Okay, so I just finished stitching on the first panel. See here, outside, inside. Alright, so I'm going to go through the exact same process for the second panel. I'm not going to film it just because I'm literally re repeating everything I just did. I'm going to glue this down. Clean it up a little bit with the sandpaper, put my groove on, mark hand pressure around with the diamond chisels to see my, my, mark my holes, punch my holes through, and stitch it up. And then I'll come back and we will finish the edges. Alright, finished stitching on the other panel. Take a look here. What we have so far and the back okay so now it's time to do our edges and the home stretch start by a little rough sand
Okay, now we'll take off the edge here. So like I said in the beginning, I'm going to try this other edge tool that I have here. I don't even know if I've ever used it, so let's see how it goes. It's definitely a little bit dull. Okay, other side. Okay, not bad. It's a much uh, larger bevel than I'm used to. Need to sharpen this thing up a little bit, but not bad overall. Okay, let's slice this down. I won't use the Dremel this time.
Don't forget these little middle parts here. moisture off my hand I'm already marking this thing up it's the problem dealing with uh, natural vegetan it takes on every mark you put looking pretty good so now I'm just gonna normally I would go around you know twice or three times even doing the burnishing but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna do it once add a little bit of beeswax Okay, looks like we're done. Let me inspect the final product here. Turf everywhere. Alright. Nice waxy edges. Okay, here's the inside. Let me go find a field notes to put in. First, and last one. All right. And you can always throw some cards, some loose paper, whatever you need. This card holder is a little oversized on purpose. You know, you can stack a good amount of stuff in there. And I throw some extra papers in here, some extra notes, and here is our finished product. Alright, and that will conclude the Field Notes case template build. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or post in the comment section of the blog post or in the video, uh, in the comment section of the video, and I'll respond as soon as I can. If you do end up building this and you are on Instagram, um, take a picture and put it as hashtag MigSupply and we will feature your field notes case on our Instagram account. Alright, thanks for tuning in.